Good morning, beautiful souls. I hope everybody slept well and y'all are all doing good today. I'm gonna go into this reading and see what we can get today. <clears throat> I've already meditated and shuffled off camera. First out, we have connect with nature. Look at that, it's so beautiful. You know, nature, any kind of nature at all in any way, shape, or form is good for you, whether it be raining, snowing, anything. You know, if it's cold, it's cold. Wrap up and be warm. But, you know, nature just in general is all the way around healthy for you and can get you back to zero point. You know, climbing a tree, hugging a tree, planting a garden, just going outside and taking three deep breaths. Anything that you can do and, you know, to help you get back to zero point can come from nature. And then next out we have download divine love you know divine love you can get that from source from your source cord you know divine love comes in all ways shapes and forms you know it's totally different and comes completely different from everybody else because it's that how that you know they are on this earth and how they they spread it or anything but you can download divine love to anybody or get downloads of divine love from anybody That wind is blowing like crazy, crazy today. And first out, we have white light chakra activation. That's beautiful. I love that. You know, chakra activation. We're activating all chakras on everybody, you know, be it <clears throat> everybody's different chakras that they need to work on. You know, some, some may be a heart chakra activation needs to be done. You know, some might be throat. My throat is one that I've worked the hardest on in, in my healing, even though my root and my sacral and my heart and all of them were just as clogged up. My throat is one of them that I had to work the hardest on because I had to get my voice and learn how to use my voice and stop letting other people run my life. Next out, we have your personal atmosphere, Archangel Michael. What is your personal atmosphere? You know, Archangel Michael will help you cleanse clear and keep it all safe at all, but you need to have a personal space that you can go to for yourself to have your meditation and your time and everything like that. So where is your personal atmosphere? Do you have one? If you don't, I would work on getting, you know, something together to where you can have that. Let's see what our chakra is we're gonna work on today. I'm pretty sure chickens and birds, and it's not raining, but the wind is blowing like crazy, so I'm pretty sure stuff's gonna start flying past my window any, any time now. I don't watch TV or the news or anything, but I should probably check out and see what the wind is going on today, just because Seriously, there was stuff flying past my patio back here earlier. I'm like, uh, okay. Today we got number 11, steady strength. The chakra is root, the crystal is red avertine, and the herb is cayenne. Receive the strength of the earth and stand grounded in your own power. Remain steady and sure as you pursue your goals in alignment with your highest path. Remember that your dreams have been handed to you for a reason. You have everything you need to overcome challenges. You are stronger than you know. Let Gaia's crystals and minerals remind you of your innermost strengths. It's beautiful. And if I remember correctly, I think it was number 13 yesterday and it was also root chakra. So I'm having a lot of root chakra working on this week.
I want to say maybe the day before there was no, because the three days before that would have been heart, because I remember pulling a lot of green with them. So three days of heart, and now two days of root. Let's see what we get tomorrow. See what the uh, romance angels has to give to us today. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you know, it's always about, and I tell everybody this, and a lot of people don't like when I say this, but it's the honest God truth. You know, before you can love anybody else unconditionally with everything that you have, love anybody else, you have to learn to love yourself. And you have to learn to give that to yourself because in case you didn't know, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for self-love from yourself first. And you know, I think, or I know everybody is looking around and, and looking for somebody to fulfill their other part, you know, with this twin flame and with the soulmates and stuff. And they will help you to fulfill certain things. But in my opinion, you are your own twin flame and your higher self is your other part of your twin. So until you merge down into together and love every aspect of every part of everything that you are inside and out, you know, you're going to always continue looking for that. No matter even if you do find your twin flame and you find the perfect, empowering, beautiful love, you're still going to have something that you're searching for inside because you're searching for yourself. You know? And a lot of people don't agree with me when I say that, but that's just something I feel, you know, deep down in my heart about it. And I do believe in twin flames. I do believe in soulmates. I'm not saying that. I have lost my twin flame. I understand the twin flame journey. I really do. You know, I understand it more than a lot of people think. I didn't have anything crap in my twin flame journey. The only thing that was crap is he died. You know, we didn't have the fighting or the arguing or anything which sounds crazy to say but we never had any of that ours was always just totally unconditional love of everything from the other you know there was never any cheating or anything like that there was never any of that it was just unconditional the perfect epitome of twin flame love so i'm not biased on this i understand what everybody says about that i just honestly think that everybody focuses way too much on their twin and their soulmate and what they need to do with them when they, at the end of the day you need to love yourself that much you need to give yourself the the love that you give your twin you need to give to yourself and that's something that my twin taught me you know on the other side is that I needed to start loving myself the way that I loved him because until I'd done that I wasn't gonna bring in another unconditional you know truly perfect relationship for myself so now that I've just went on and on and on and on and on about how much you should love yourself let's see what the mystical wisdom wants to give us today you know and it's just, just love yourself love yourself every part of you, everything, every bad choice, every bad decision, everything, because at the end of the day, you did it for a reason. Dolphin, don't worry, be happy. Wow, I love this. Love, 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 look at the bubbles. Now, when I, when I visualize, see, I can't talk. When I visualize bubbles of protection, these bubbles that are in this, or I like to tell people, you know, like the Wizard of Oz, when Glinda comes in the bubble, that's, that's what I visualize when I do my bubbles of protection and stuff like that. And I do them all the time, but it's like this. But, you know, dolphins, dolphins are really important to us. When I was younger, I'll tell you a little story, just teasy. I used to do a dolphin call and I can't do it anymore because my voice has completely changed, but I would be in, in class and... We would be bored or we'd be sitting in there and I would do a dolphin call and nobody could ever figure out that it was me because I was that good with it. But it really did sound like it. And I know that I was a dolphin in a past life. So I carried that on into this life. Okay, let's see what these rebels want to give us today.
We have a lightning strike. Figure shit out on your own. <laughs> you know, and I don't really agree that you have to figure it out on your own. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, use your discernment to figure out if it's right or not. But you can always, you know, look into other people's ways and stuff and see how they do stuff just to see if you can expand on what you would want to do and stuff like that. But when it says figure your shit out, at the end of the day, just listen to your gut and whatever your gut is telling you is the truth, no matter what. What kind of wisdom are we going to take away today? Don't invite people into your garden who would stomp on your flowers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, if somebody's hurting you or somebody's doing something to you, I don't care if they're family, I don't care if they're your mom, your brother, your sister, your kid, I don't care who they are. You need to let them know how they're making you feel and if they're still making you feel that way, then they need to be uprooted like a weed out of your garden and thrown away. You know, and that's just the moral of the story these days. We are not staying in the same world that we used to live in. We are not, you know, everybody's here to teach you a lesson that's in your life, whether it be good or bad. But don't stay in that. Don't sit with it. Don't don't keep letting someone hurt you over and over and over and over and over, no matter what. You know, there's chances and there's chances. And yes, we are spiritual beings, but at the end of the day, we're still in this human meat suit. And right is right and wrong is wrong. So, I'm not saying be mean to them or anything like that. I'm just saying sometimes it's good to cut people out of your life. And I'm one of those people that if you're not doing any good for me, you got to go. And that's just the way it is. Because for so many years, I sat and I put myself last. And I let everybody tell me what to do, how to be, you know, as in controlling relationships. To where I was towed when I could feel happy, when I could feel sad. You know, I was towed everything to do. You know, and I will never live that way again, ever, 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 ever. So, that is what I have for y'all today. I love you. Meet me at my vibration. And namaste, beautiful souls.